Good evening, folks. This is Deb. You know, I promise you that by the time the orange jackaloons four years is up, you're going to be sick of seeing me. But there are a few things we have to talk about. Things that we have to do that we have as leftists, liberals, whatever you want to call us, have failed to do um, for, I would have to say, decades now. I remember back in the day uh, when guys like Rush Limbaugh and, uh, and and other radio personalities owned the airwaves, okay? That's how some people in my family became indoctrinated with right-wing bullshit. And I remember a little company or a little, a little uh, uh, radio station on the left that tried to counter that called Air America. And... The most prominent person on that Air America station was a very young Rachel Maddow. That that station failed, okay? And no one ever tried to fill that void again. So let's fast forward to where we are now in the age of the internet, okay? We have guys like Joe Rogan, Tim Pool, Nicholas Fuentes, and many other personalities with podcasts, uh, posting on social media constantly. They're on, on Twitter. If you want to call it X, you can call it X. I refuse to call it X. Um, you know, posting on, on a various and sundry. Uh, there are literally hundreds of places to post now. Okay. And, and they own the narrative and a lot of the reason for Kamala Harris's loss was misinformation out there on social media. The people on the left have got to build a communication system just like the right has. However, with a difference. Our goal is not to promote conspiracy theories, bullshit and lies, but to dispel the lies that are being told by the other guys. And until we do that, we are always going to be behind the eight ball. I spent 35 years in advertising. And the one thing you learn in advertising is speak, rinse, repeat. Speak, rinse, repeat. The more you get your message out there, I don't care if it bores you. The fact of the matter is on social media, you are seeing a few hundred people every time you post something. You're not seeing all 200 million people on Facebook. A few people, a few hundred people see your posts when you post. Things need to be shared over and over and over again. And we need to share on more than just one platform. I am on right now Facebook, Twitter, Spoutable. I am on Blue Sky as of two days ago. I am on Counter Social. Okay? I am on a ton of sites, and I am moving on to other sites that I have been neglecting, like Threads and Instagram. The only way we are going to get power back is to take power through our messaging. And, and this has to be done. It's, it's quite clear that we are behind the eight ball here. And that means all of you folks on social media, if you are on more than one social media site, you need to share those posts everywhere. And you can't run for cover either, all right? You don't like looking at the shit on X, so you're running away because there's a lot of right-wingers on X. Okay, well, fine. Every time people run, do you think you're punishing Elon Musk? You're not punishing Elon Musk. He doesn't give a shit, okay? You are not punishing Elon Musk. You are seeding yet another venue to the right wing. They are winning and they are laughing at you. And you're running off to Blue Sky, which has very few people on it right now, is having growing pains. But you are running there because you are comfortable there. No one's there to bother you. You won't get any laughing emojis on your serious posts. If you can't handle laughing emojis, you can't handle this battle. That's all I'm telling you. You know, the war isn't made for the weak-willed. The war, This war is not made for people who want to be safe, comfortable, and hiding. This is not what this is about. This requires not just 
the Democrats trying to block everything Donald Trump is going to do. Okay? We wouldn't be in this position had people not elected Donald Trump. So now we have to be all hands on deck if we are going to save this. And we need to stop with our stupid assumptions that the Gen Zers are going to save us or the women are going to rise up and save us. We all have to save each other and ourselves. There is no one segment of the population that's going to do it. But I will tell you right now, being able to create a network of people out there talking, not just on TikTok, but everywhere, sharing the videos we put out. You don't want to watch them yourself. Just fucking share them. Share them. Build the numbers. And, and build the pathways for our message that talks about the truth about what the right is offering you. Okay? I have seen countless videos of immigrant people, okay, and Latinos who voted for Trump now totally shocked because they believed his bullshit about tariffs and they didn't even know how tariffs work. We can't be in a constant stream of memes. Memes do nothing, okay? They are not truth bringers. They do not dispel any of the lies that the writing, right is telling. Facts will dispel that. We can't fall into that trap that we need to put a little picture out there with a quirky little caption. We need to start fighting back with facts, honesty, and truth, no matter how brutal it is. So I'm urging everybody today to start thinking about that because I'm going to start going out there not just posting everywhere, but talking to other people who are posting to see how we can pull this all together and work together to fight these guys. But in the meantime, don't ask for groups to be made private so you can be comfortable and there won't be any trolls in there. We have to deal with that now. That's what admins and moderators are for. All right, we have to deal with that. We can't cut ourselves off so we can talk to each other and feel safe. We have got to fight back. I will talk to you again tomorrow morning on a different topic. See you later.